DNA polymerase requires an RNA primer to initiate DNA synthesis. This requirement creates a dilemma for the replication of the ends of linear DNA molecules. When you have completed this exercise, you should understand the end replication problem and understand how eukaryotes use telomerase to solve the end replication problem. During replication, the lagging strand is synthesized as short fragments called Okazaki fragments. The RNA primers are removed by RNase H, filled in by DNA polymerase, and ligated by DNA ligase. However, DNA polymerase is only able to add DNA to the 3' end of a polynucleotide. Therefore, even if primase is able to synthesize an RNA primer at the 3' terminus of the lagging strand, DNA polymerase is not able to replicate this DNA when the primer is removed. This leaves a short region of unreplicated single-stranded DNA at the end of the chromosome. This incomplete replication is called the end replication problem. If eukaryotes did not have a way to solve this problem, the linear chromosomes would become shorter after each round of replication, leading to loss of genes at the ends of chromosomes. The ends of eukaryotic chromosomes are called telomeres, and they are generally composed of repeats of a TG-rich DNA sequence. For example, the sequence TTAGGG is repeated many times in human telomeres. The 3' end of each chromosome extends beyond the 5' end as single-stranded DNA, as would be expected due to the end replication problem. Most eukaryotes use a specialized DNA polymerase, called telomerase, to solve the end replication problem. Telomerase is comprised of both protein and RNA. The RNA includes 1.5 copies of the complement of the telomeric sequence. For example, human telomerase RNA contains the sequence UAA-CCC-UAA. Like all other DNA polymerases, telomerase extends the 3' end of its DNA substrate. However, unlike most DNA polymerases, telomerase does not need a DNA template to direct the addition of new nucleotides. Instead, the RNA component of telomerase serves as the template for adding the telomeric sequence to the 3' terminus of the chromosome. After telomerase synthesizes DNA to the end of the telomeric template region, the RNA template disengages from the DNA product and reanneals to the end of the copied DNA. This process can be repeated many times, extending the 3' end of the chromosome. The lagging strand DNA replication machinery can then extend the 5' end of the chromosome. Although DNA polymerase is still unable to extend the 5' end all the way to the end of the chromosome, the telomeric repeats protect the genes at the end of the chromosome in two ways, by serving as a buffer of non-coding DNA, and by binding proteins that prevent the degradation of the ends of the chromosomes. Telomerase is the subject of a great deal of research. In this section, you will explore some of this research.